thanks a lot for staying with us. Now, it's not been even a week since the world's richest man and Tesla CEO Elon Musk took over Twitter and the shocks keep coming. According to reports now, Twitter could begin to charge $20 per month for the verification badges. That's roughly 1,600 rupees a month. Reports say Musk plans to charge users $19.99 for the new Twitter Blue subscription. But Twitter accounts that have already uh, verified will have to comply with this new mechanism and pay for the blue pick. The report suggests that verified users will have a total of 90 days to move to Twitter Blue or they will end up losing their checkmark. Reports also say that Twitter engineers have been given a deadline to revamp the Twitter verification process. Elon Musk had said himself that the verification process on the platform, which adds a blue tooth next to the profile name, is being revamped. And all of this could happen sooner rather than later. To charge or not to charge? Now, what could be the arguments on both sides? First up, for charging. One could argue that the move will make the process of getting that blue tick in the first place more transparent. Right now, there are allegations of bias against Twitter. Against it, authentication should not be held hostage to financial capability. Most people may not be able to pay any fees, but they do deserve the protection that verification brings with it. Similarly, now that an argument could be made that if paid, Twitter will be obligated to give the blue tick to whoever wants. A lot of people tended not to because they felt they wouldn't get it. Now, against that, one could also argue that high fees will make users drop the very idea of having a blue tick. And in fact, the blue tick could lose its relevance. A lot of people are being critical of this reported idea as a pure greedy means to make money. But let's face it, Twitter does have the right to create its own business model. But is this the right time? Remember, global economic climate is pretty harsh and doesn't look conducive to charging for such services which used to be free. People, for example, are dropping their streaming service subscriptions right now globally. Will they seriously play, pay for a blue tick? And finally, some could argue Move could attach a more value, a bigger value to the blue tick than it exists today. But conversely, it can also be argued that it, this move could make the blue tick only a status symbol. And that too, especially for the rich. Today, it is a status symbol for the elite, quote unquote, but it could be limited to the rich therein. So that's the big debate that's coming in. Twitter expected to charge $20 per month for the blue tick verification. This is, mind you, not really quoted by them. These are reports that are indicating that. Will Twitterati pay this sum monthly for this batch? Let's go across to the guests who are joining us. Jitain Jain is cyber security expert. Rajneesh Jaswal is general counsel and head of policy of Ku app, which is the Indian social media service app. Abhishek Astana goes by the handle at the rate Gabbar Singh. He has over a million followers. We are expected to join by Sohail Seth as well. Let me begin uh, by with Abhishek. Abhishek, you have 1.4 million followers. You don't have a verification badge. What do you make of this thing which could make the blue tick worth $20 a month? Do you think something like this will work on Twitter? Uh, see, I guess uh, for any social media, what they do is they try to encourage their power users, basically who, the people who create content, which is seen by millions. Mm. So uh, they, they do it by two methods, basically. One is to give them recognition, uh, some kind of badge, basically, mm. like a YouTube has a silver play button, a gold play button, and uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and even Twitter had a blue Tick, of course. Hmm. And the second bit is the revenue that they earn from that platform uh, hmm. by in lieu of their followers through brand endorsements or in some cases, the platform itself pays them like YouTube does. Now, what is happening here is these are the two different strategies or two different incentives to, to encourage their power users. Now, there is an intermingling of that. Now, suddenly that, that reward or that uh, intangible uh, blue tick has a value now. And, and that is basically uh, throwing people off. Uh, imagine uh, if suppose that has a value, that has a $20 value attached to it. That means the moment I am verified on Twitter, uh, people might uh, speculate that it's because I have paid money, right? So yeah. that, that's a difference basically. Suddenly that, that relevance, that recognition, the value of that recognition mm -hmm. comes down because there is a monetary value attached to it. And monetary value is not that great actually. 1,000 rupees a month uh, or 1,600, 1,700 bucks a month is not that great an amount to actually exhibit status. It's not like I'm, I have a Rolex watch, which is worth uh, a lakh uh, on my on my wrist, which will exhibit status. But to pay 1700 bucks a month won't exhibit status anyway. So the point is that uh, suddenly there is a monetary value attached to it. 
and uh, the the whole recognition bit might get diluted okay, so okay. that that's my can i ask thing. you a I've simple question though uh, like i said you've got over a million followers but you don't yeah. have a verification tick yeah will you like to have it or will you uh, pay see, for it at all ever i have made a conscious call not to apply for it because okay. see the thing is verification comes with uh, um, of course uh, revealing your true identity i mean putting up your real name and real picture yeah. I, i can't do that because i have a pseudonymous kind of a handle which is yeah. called gabbar singh uh, so that was a call which i couldn't take though uh, i i mean meet all the criteria basically like having your name in in press and uh, maybe a decent number of followers as well okay. so i took a conscious call my w- mind was a different case altogether so i didn't never went for it and what i realize is it doesn't make a difference as such i mean yeah. i have had i mean i'm sitting here without a verified tick right so it's fine and I you've guess. got a big following another member of the twitter rt that has a big following over 4 million is sohail sage columnist and author sohail you do have the verification badge how much Absolutely. is that blue tick worth to you and do you think people will pay 20 dollars a month which is 1600 rupees a month for it i don't know if people will pay i will certainly not pay because as <laughs> groucho marx famously said I don't want to be a member of any club that will have me. Right. I think it is ridiculous. Elon Musk has lost the plot. You know, this is what happens when your brains are fried in an electric vehicle manufacturing facility. <laughs> as as Mr. Astana, that's his name, right? As he rightly said, yeah, that uh, it is the people's choice. And frankly, I didn't apply for a blue tick. You know, I got the blue tick. I don't know how they I gave mean, it to you just like that. Yeah, but in those days you didn't have to apply. Right. I remember, I'm much older than all of you, <laughs> and I started on Twitter much before you guys did. Yeah. So I didn't ever apply for a blue tick. I haven't applied for a blue tick anywhere. Yeah. And my only issue with Avishay, and rightly so, is, see, there are two kinds of people on Twitter: one who want their anonymity protected, mm-hmm. and the others who don't give a damn about saying what they say. Mm-hmm. I've always belonged to the latter. I really don't give a monkey's, uh, you know, hat in terms of. what people think now the blue tick problem is something different and this is the nub of the issue shivani when the blue tick happens you will have people who have the money but not the intellect the class or the willingness to be responsible or accountable mm. so what you're doing is you are making money the denominator rather than intellect or influence so every johnny will uh, uh, get a blue tick which by the way makes the blue tick meaningless Yeah. Elon Musk is a stupid marketing person. I'll tell you why. If you have to make money, make serious money. Then say that the blue tick will be given to thousand influencers in every country. Hmm. For the rest, I will charge a thousand dollars a month. Wow. Sometimes, sometimes no, no. I'll tell you why, Shivani. Sometimes fees are a very good segregator and separating from the uh, separating the wheat from the chaff. Then people who are serious about Twitter will apply. I mean, if Abhishek, as he rightly said, and and I loved his comment about how Twitter needs to get revenues, you know, advertising, branding, co-branding, promotions, mm. that will only happen when you have people who can afford to uh, have it. There is no point me selling a product uh, to Sohail Seth who doesn't have the money to afford it. Can I just come in? You mentioned the blue tick. You know, uh, first of all, right now there's a. process where you have to show that your account is authentic notable and active you have to give references of your work you have to provide a picture uh, a valid official government id and yeah. your profile should have a profile name it should have a profile image and it must be active at the time that you have applied so all of these are things the reason why for example i have a blue tick because i have uh, you know my publications etc and i am i'm using my identity etc to uh, uh, you know to function on twitter but i want to ask jitin jain you know what twi- what we understand from remote uh, reports is that there is still roundabout way of getting people to pay for the blue tick actually the subscription will be for twitter blue but reports suggest that you will end up paying for your blue tick also because it seems like they want only verified people to be on twitter blue and then uh, continue to pay for that subscription if you want to keep your verification which is a uh, elite status symbol on twitter do you think something like this will work because as one twitter user said either you create an elite community where only verified individuals who have the money will interact with each other but then what's the fun of twitter then the very fun of twitter is that everybody is on the same plane or you give some additional benefits like edit button etc but will you pay 20 dollars a month for that where do you stand jitin 
you know i think i agree with sohail but uh, you know partially because i don't think elon's mind is fried in a electric car factory i think he's trying to make money out of a cactus so you see there is no doubt that twitter needs to commercialize twitter needs to make money in order to be sustainable unless they are willing to go on a facebook and uh, instagram route where they are just catching like posts by just you know pushing random content selling data to people you know just throwing garbage and turning entire social media into a political hate house so i think if he has to keep twitter healthy informative a town square as he is likely talking about then he has to commercialize and that commercialization angle can only come from additional services so as far as twitter glue services like you know edit button or you know uh, deleting a tweet or you know uh, some other premium services are concerned additional characters or say additional space for videos is concerned i think people will buy uh, i i was have been suggesting from last 4 5 months that twitter needs to sell commercial services to political parties which has turned twitter into a political uh, you know a hate machine he needs to sell twitter to corporates who are using twitter to make money to influencers but so far as ordinary users or intellectuals are concerned you have to have some sort of differentiation there so i think the what elon musk is doing he's setting the world on a wild goose chase he's trying to test waters how much a society will pay what will be the reaction i think it may so turn out that he will he will sell verification in as a part of twitter view but that verification might be a orange stick or a dark blue or a light blue tick maybe something different so you don't know what he's trying to attempt of course he's going to make money he's going to make money by commercial services but at the same time i agree with sohail that he will he is going to ensure that is intellectual rot which actually uh, lot which actually keeps the twitter going and twitter a lively place doesn't go away doesn't walk away no i and think also, it is not the intellectual uh, uh, it is not the intellectual heft of people on twitter which makes people uh, twitter twitter it is the no, fact that an intellectual a and a commoner thing. is on the same plane on twitter and you and i can say anything that anybody else can say and no, get opinion are, going it is not are, an intellectual sphere twitter is Shivani, missing a very artist. critical point yeah support support if narendra yes. modi refuses to pay for twitter blue and his blue tick is taken away twitter. and then random 20 idiots make narendra modi account and start tweeting some bullshit rumors about currency about market manipulation interest yeah, or yeah. anything what will happen so there will be a jungle raj of rumors running around so verification has also helped identify genuine people no that's precisely why i mentioned that verification cannot be held hostage to your financial capability Absolutely. the very issue of verification is that it allows you protection from somebody aping you or somebody copying your identity yes you so hail you were saying something i have to go let to mr jaswal also <clears throat> let me tell you by and large twitter is the most chaotic loudest stupidest platform yeah. on uh, on the in the digital world i'll tell you why it allows people to say stupid things and get away with it because of either anonymity or because no one else cares it is not a responsible platform so if elon musk's objectives are to change the definition of the platform make it more responsible you can't do it because then all these uh, uh, left liberals will scream saying oh democracy is being taken away from uh, twitter and you'll have an army of people abusing him i think elon musk is just trying to make himself relevant but i if i were him he should concentrate more on tesla and less on twitter okay. because sometimes when you sleep on the wall your businesses do better All right. We all have an opinion on Elon Musk, isn't it? He's certainly a maverick, but the man continues to be in the news. Rajni Jaswal, I'm giving you the final word. You come from Ku App, and of course, your aim would be to expand Ku and its subscriber base. Do you feel one that if Twitter was to bring in this charge for verification tick, you could actually get migration to Ku? You would answer that second. But the, my first question to you is: the very use of verification is so that people cannot steal identity or cannot create that chaos. like uh, jitain was mentioning uh, if you know so many uh, narendra modi accounts came up and they possibly exist but viewer uh, uh, somebody who is a reader knows which narendra modi account is verified and what to believe in so what do you make of this report that twitter could charge for a service like that should it do so do you think and could ku benefit if it does so i think i'll answer the benefit part later and first uh, talk about what ku does um who believes that regardless of eminence or whether you are a big person or a small social media entity or anyone else uh, every individual and every citizen has the right to express themselves and showcase the genuinity of their identity in fact in india it is a legal right mm. under the intermediary guidelines last year the government had prescribed that social media entities should allow for verification yeah. of users uh, who launched a self verification feature last year uh, where we gave a green tick for anybody who verified their identity 
And then on top of that, we have something known as the eminent stick, which is the yellow tick. Hmm. Uh, so if you are an awesome Indian personality, like the folks on, on screen today, uh, who will give you a yellow tick? Yellow tick means that you're a person who's done something <coughs> of um, a sense of something great in the Indian um, in the Indian scenario okay, and that people can find you and that people are able to connect with you. And that goes back to the question that you asked. When you give a yellow tick, uh, you are letting other users know that this is a person who has something to talk about. This is a person who's done something well and has an opinion to share. Please follow them. At Coo, all of the, this is done without any charge, whether it is the green tick or the yellow tick. Uh, these verification processes are designed to ensure authentic users connect with each other and have access to eminent personalities and understand their thoughts and views. Mm. So from a coup perspective, I think charging or not charging is secondary. The first thing to do is connect individuals, connect Indians to each other and showcase eminent Indians to other Indians as well. Um, whether folks will migrate or not, that is for them to decide. Uh, but we are, we, are, we are very keen on our mission to bring inclusivity uh, and inclusivity doesn't have a cost. I mean, it, it should be free of charge. I get your point. I think that's exactly the bottom line. Jitin, I'll give you a final word. I think if Twitter was to charge for a verification tick, even though it will be disguised as a Twitter blue subscription, but it will have a rider that you could lose, lose your verification if you don't comply, uh, I think it will be the first of a kind where a social media platform is charging for a service like this. Do you think we're moving in that direction? That just no, globally speaking, the uh, online space will become this? Shivani, India is the capital happen. of freedom fighters. They fight for anything that's free. No one is going to pay. Okay, okay. Uh, let's oh, but I'll, be, I'll be very surprised to see if Elon Musk can dig out $20 from Suhail said. But anyways, uh, you know, on a senior side, I think I don't think Elon Musk would like to get into confrontation in multiple countries. For example, removing blue ticks of head of the states, which obviously will not pay. There is no way that government of India is going to pay $20 per month. Yeah. Imagine a, 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 a news publication like CNN, IBM Group having 2,000 odd journalists. If you were to pay $20 every month for 700 2,000 journalists, you'll be end up paying 5 crores every year. Yeah. It's impossible. The 5 year, uh, you know, people will better be given a salary hike. So I don't think, first of all, this $20 amount will be, you know, imposed upon existing in intellectuals because they will definitely not pay. Nobody pays for the gratification of the, in in you know, intellect or, uh, you know. Some no, I think award. people will like, pay. You know, I think Twitter people love to pay for the gratification money. of their intellect. <laughs> people love to do that. Yeah. Yes, Soel? But Shivani, being a great anchor that you are, why don't you start a campaign where Elon Musk pays us to be on his platform? Yeah, I think that's a good Musk idea. <laughs> Two hundred dollars anyway. per month. <laughs> YouTube anyway does that, right? They yeah. pay you for creating content. Yeah. So you are. Uh, Twitter is charging you, you to be a super creator. Imagine. So I think uh, if I took a poll, I think most of you believe that this, if this idea comes into being, it would be a flop. Can I say <laughs> get a yay or a nay? I mean, Netflix no, no, learned that after three years. There will be many who will pay. Twitter will learn it too. Okay. I think uh, uh, let, let let's let's just wait and see. As let long as Uber does not turn into a you know bird shit. Sorry, uh, Jitain, come again. Uh, let's hope that a bluebird does not turn into a you know bird shit. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I request gentlemen not to use words like that, uh, just for my safety also. But anyways, this was a good discussion. I think in the days to come, as long as Elon Musk is at the helm as chief twit of Twitter, we're going to have very interesting days ahead. How as a user it will affect your life, we don't quite just know yet. This could just be an idea that is being debated. It may not come true. But if it does, it will change the engagement on Twitter by quite a bit. Thanks a lot to all of the guests for joining us. And thanks a lot.